Back on the Domino's postgame report as Carson Newman falls on the road in Banner Elk, 103-101 to the Lees McRae Bobcats. I'm Adam Cavalier alongside Carson Newman head men's basketball coach Chuck Benson. Uh, Chuck, uh, a game of the year uh, caliber contest between two teams two years removed from an NCAA uh, tournament berth. It felt like a heavyweight prize fight at times, but it's ultimately – a prize fight that Carson Newman loses, struggled from the free throw line, struggled yep. with turnovers, and that negates some otherworldly offensive efficiency by your team. What did you see that you liked out of your – in your first live game action of your team tonight, and what did you see that needs work? Well, I mean, you, you said it. This was – this was <laughs> one of those, like um, – I, I didn't know what to expect necessarily from our guys because mm -hmm. – it's one thing to practice. It's another thing to, 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 to scrimmage. But it's a completely no other thing to actually play. And, and we didn't do any, we didn't do our guys any favors. I mean, we're opening up, you know, on the road uh, in a place that is really, really in the Conference Carolinas, arguably the, the, one of the hardest places, if not the hardest place to play uh, because of location and, and sort of the, 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 the aesthetic of the gym and so forth. The place was packed in here tonight mm -hmm. had a lot of energy. And, of course, they were very, very fired up. So we, we didn't make it easy uh, for our guys, uh, you know, but, but we needed that. Uh, and, and, unfortunately, you know, we came up short in terms of uh, the win or the loss. But, man, I thought, in all honesty, I think there's a whole, whole lot to be uh, happy with. When I look, when I look at, when I look at I don't, I don't know the stat sheet, but some other uh, factors that we sort of take into consideration as coaches. So I'm – uh, you know, you're disappointed in the win-loss, but I knew this was going to be sort of a, a, a – well, I knew it was going to be a tough challenge. Uh, but I, I like a lot of things I saw, actually. Because there <coughs> are so many unknowns, I don't normally ask this question, uh, you're full of unknowns. Lise McRae returned a lot from last yep. year, but uh, didn't really have all these pieces together last right. year. With that being said, how good is Lise McRae in the encapsulation of this game? Well, you know, I mean – uh, I think I think there, there are so many factors that, that play into that. I, I think home at home they are really good. Uh, you know they shot the ball very very well. Um, they they play with a lot of passion. I mean they, they're, 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 those guys get after it, uh, and they've got they've got some guys that can can go get a basket. You know, um, so I mean you can't take anything away from them. I, you said it. I mean, they're two years away removed from an NCAA tournament, uh, and and two of the guys that were on that team that. We're, we're, you know, part of that. Uh, we're out last year for different reasons. We're back with the team tonight, and you know, they, they, they were, they were prime contributors tonight. So uh, they're a good, they're, they're a good team. Coach Harden does a good job. Uh, had their guys really ready to play. Uh, but, but as I said, going into this game, we need as much, um, we need as many challenges and as many experiences as we can get right now to sort of uh, bring this team together and try to get the best of it as quickly as we can. Debuts for E.J. Bush and Jalen McGill, and I don't think they could have gone any better. Uh, 27 yep. points, 13 rebounds for E.J. Bush. We'll start with him. Uh, he was instrumental, especially in the second half, yes. uh, with lots of second-chance buckets yeah. of Keen to come back. What did you see out of the uh, junior he, transfer from I, just, I, I, love co I love coaching him. I love his, I love his, his approach. Uh, he's got a great attitude. Um, and you saw it. I mean, he's, he's, just, he's really, really intentional and, and resilient about what he's doing. Uh, and, and, and his, his actions and attitude, the truth of the matter is, they, they, they were contagious. So I'm really happy in, in his debut. Um, and, of course, you mentioned Jalen. Uh, Jalen goes out there and, and, and does what he does, you know, made, made shots, uh, was, a, was a prime defender for us, um, you know, a, a catalyst and leader on both ends of the court. So those, those guys, I think they did, they, did, they did what they could do, you know. Uh, let's break down the final exchange. You get the basketball. Uh, back down two with seven seconds left after Lise McRae went one for two at the free throw line yeah. uh, and got a good look. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, it, it, it's, we, 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 that's a play that we've worked on uh, in preparation for that kind of scenario. I, I thought our late game, I thought our late game poise and the way our guys responded uh, couldn't have been better. I mean, in all honesty, I, 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 those kind of situations can be really taxing. And to have so many new guys on the court one time, we, we executed. We got a really good look from, from Jalen, uh, and he missed it, you know. And I told him in the huddle, I said, hey, man, two, two things. We can, we're going to get this ball down the front court. Reese, you can either attack the rim and, and get a two, 
or if the opportunity presents itself and we can get a three and go for the win, let's do it. And, and when I said that, they're all like, we're going to win this thing right now. So the attitude was one like, let's go ahead and, and do this. And, again, we got a good shot, so it just it didn't make it. This was a game that uh, both teams threw haymakers early before you kind of settled down. Yeah. Uh, you jump out to a 13-point lead in the first five yeah. minutes, but then Lee's McCray in the blink, blink of an yeah. eye, I think you went only two and a half minutes without scoring. Yeah. They rattle off a 16-2 yeah. run. What, what was the seesaw like early that contributed to that game of runs that led to Lee's McCray up by 10 at the half? Well, I think, I think both teams were so uh, I don't, committed to the pace of play and, and trying to <laughs> – to get it, to, to keep it as high and as fast as we could, that uh, you know, I think uh, people can capitalize in those situations. The second half, as you saw, we slowed it down a bit and started throwing some different things at them defensively. Uh, had a couple of play calls there that, 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 that worked for us, but we're very much trying to create a um, uh, an approach that that keeps as much pressure on both ends of the floor as possible. And I, you know, I. I, th I, th I think we really have a chance to do that. Uh, you know, one, 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 one thing that sort of impacted that, of course, was, you know, uh, when, tr when Tripp went down, and he's one of our primary speed guys. When he went down and was, was done for the second half, that, that's, that's, that put a lot more pressure on Reese to sort of, in a, sol in a singular way, be that catalyst. And it, it helps when you have a couple more of those. But, um, like I said, Kev, I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed in the loss, but I'm not disappointed in, in, in game one from what I saw with my guys. You know, we got the line twice as much as they did. We out-rebounded them. Um, we shot the ball very, very well. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you know, I, we, we've got to do a better job with, with the turnovers. Um, but that, that is – I think that will come. Quick turnaround. Uh, you take on George Pitt's King team tomorrow uh, here at 3. Yeah. Uh, what do you have to do to move past this one and go up against a Tornado Club that probably is just as talented, if not more talented, than this Lee's McRae team? Yeah, well, I mean, there, there, there's there's no – there's there's you just we just move forward, you know. We've got – we played one game, um, and we turn right around and play another tomorrow. Uh, we, we'll get to the hotel, and we'll – we will uh, uh, study – what information we have on on King? Our guys got to watch them play um, the game bef before ours, and 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 they're good, man. I, I, if if that's not a if that's not uh, one of, if not the best team uh, in this Carolinas conference, I don't know what it is. I mean, and I'm saying I'm saying that I thought Lee McCray played really really well, but with King having four seniors, all four double digit scores, and you know uh, uh, Jordan Floyd and the uh, and and James Brown, <laughs> the Godfather yeah. of King basketball. Uh, man, they, I, they're, they're good. They're really good. It'll, it'll be another great test for us, which we need right now. Chuck, pleasure as always. Uh, we won't be here tomorrow, so enjoy a night without my stench. <laughs> uh, and we'll talk to you Wednesday at Shorter. Great. Thanks, Kev. All right. That is Carson Newman, head men's basketball coach, Chuck Benson.